ten, ten, twenty, twenty, thirty, thirty, forty, forty, fifty, fifty. Sixty, sixty, seventy, seventy, eighty, eighty, ninety, ninety, a hundred, a hundred, shells. Shells. Jigsaw puzzles. Jigsaw puzzles. Board games. Board games. Please complete exercise in Get Smart Workbook, page 3, number 1. You have to read the sentences and match with correct numbers. You have to complete the exercise in Get Smart Workbook, page 9, number 2. If you can say the numbers, just tick in the box, okay? Jadi, kalau kamu boleh sebut nombor tersebut, tikkan dalam kotak. For lesson 1, we will learn haven't got and hasn't got. So remember, before this, we have learned have got and has got. Have got and has got bermaksud mempunyai. But haven't got and hasn't got bermaksud tidak mempunyai. Right, let's take a look at have got and haven't got first. So, for I and they... We must use have got or haven't got. Okay, for example, I have got teddy bears. Saya mempunyai patung beruang. But now, as you see in the picture, there are no teddy bears. So, I haven't got teddy bears. Has got and hasn't got. So, he and she, we must use has got or hasn't got. For example, she has got teddy bears. Now, there are no teddy bears. So, it should be she hasn't got teddy bears. The point for lesson 1, you must remember have got and has got bermaksud mempunyai. Haven't got and hasn't got bermaksud tidak mempunyai. For lesson 1, you have to complete exercise in Get Smart Workbook, page 3, number 2. You must choose whether the answer is haven't got or hasn't got. Soalan ni boleh refer notes yang ditunjuk oleh anak panah. So, cuba teka. Try to guess. What is the answer for number one? The answer for number one is She hasn't got your use. Okay, now try to guess the answer for number two. So, for number two, he hasn't got teddy bears. Jadi, as you can see in the picture, budak lelaki itu tidak mempunyai teddy bear. Okay, so for number three, four and five, try to answer on your own, okay? So, for lesson two, it will be based on this table. Let's take a look at half. First, so for you and they, 
we must use have. For example, number one, have you got 20 shells? Adakah anda mempunyai 20 cangkerang? So, if you have, kalau ada, yes, I have. If you don't have, kalau tiada, the answer should be no, I haven't. So, see here, bila kita guna have dekat soalan, dekat jawapan pun kita kena guna have. So, that's why the answers should be yes, I have or no, I haven't. Have they got 20 shells? Yes, they have or no, they haven't. Yes, we must use with he or she. For example, number one. Has he got 50 dolls? So the answer should be yes, he has or no, he hasn't. Has she got 50 dolls? Yes, she has or no, she hasn't. And let's answer a few questions together. Number one, has he got two teddy bears? You can see in the red circle, seperti dalam bulatan merah, he hasn't got any teddy bears. So, the answer should be, no, he hasn't. Have they got two board games? So, as you can see in the picture, both of them have got board games. So, can you guess the answer? The answer is, yes, they have. For lesson 2, please complete exercise in Get Smart Workbook, page 3, number 3. Jadi, untuk number 3 ni, kamu kena jawab berdasarkan gambar dalam bulatan merah.